What is the street parking vault? The street parking vault is one workout a week for 25 weeks with a goal of helping you build consistency. You can do any version you want. You can customize these workouts to make them work for your equipment and fitness level. Each week, log your workout before the time is up. Remember, your scores do not matter. You just can't miss. All right, welcome to the first workout of the 2023 vault. We're gonna be tackling Deshret today, Jackson and I, and I'll be doing program B, which is gonna be the barbell version, and I'm gonna be doing the extra challenge reps, which is going to be seven devil press instead of the five. Jackson's gonna be tackling program A, so he's gonna be crushing it with his dumbbells, he's got his weight chosen that's gonna work for him. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the workout for my full breakdown and tips, and that way you guys can approach it in the best way possible that works for you. Also, for the full demo, make sure you guys visit my.streetparking.com or download the app. Don't worry, we, I, we still get nervous to this day. Cause you just know. Okay. It's from last millennia. <laughs> oh my gosh. You got this. You got this, Jackson. It's gonna be so hard for me not to go into coach mode with it. Alright. All right, and it begins Desh Red. Oh what my gosh. is this workout, Miranda? All right, well, first of all, welcome to the 2023 vault. <laughs> this workout has changed five times because we wanted to get it just right. We're in year four. Year and, four. Yes, and uh, I'm so excited about this first workout of this year. Okay, so what we've got is a 10 minute AMRAP. How bad could it be? Uh, so, so bad. <laughs> You're gonna do as many rounds as possible of 15 unbroken thrusters. Oh, okay. So your rounds are how many thrust sets of 15 unbroken thrusters that you get. Okay. Now before you can go into a new set, to okay. a new round, you've got to do five devil press as like a buy-in each time. Oh, So okay. the devil press reps don't really count at all towards your score unless you get a few at the end. Okay. So they're literally there as to be annoying. Okay, good, 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 good to know. Like yes. me. <laughs> yes, so what we're looking for is somewhere in the ballpark of four to six rounds. That's four to six sets of 15 unbroken thrusters. Wow, wow, wow. So, okay, it, we, we're saying unbroken thrusters. What happens if you have to break the thrusters? If you break the thrusters, that round doesn't count and you need to start over because your rounds are only sets of 15 unbroken thrusters. So you have to start all over. Yeah, so if you oh get to like God. 12 and you stop. <laughs> no. So here's why we <laughs> like this for Deshret. So Deshret is the desert, right? Well, yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about okay, it and then so I'll tell you how we pick the workout. We've all, I think, heard of the Nile, right? Big old river in Egypt. <laughs> And then uh, right outside the Nile, there's some like cool foresty area, but then you go past that and there's the desert. Like it is bleak. There is not a place where you can get food or water. It's just desert land. Yes. So that's where Deshret is, which is basically where they're stranded right now. Yeah, so, okay. So this is how we um, created this workout. The reason why we like the unbroken and, and all of that is because there's a lot of strategy involved. 100%. In this workout. And um, as it would be if you found yourself in the desert. Yeah. Like, you have to conserve your resources, be smart about how quickly you're trying to move across the desert, not move too quickly that you know you wear yourself out, don't drink your water too fast, like all that stuff. Right on. Be smart about how you're using your resources. Right, when you're but in you the desert. But you also don't want to stop in the right. desert true. for too long. True, true, true. That would also not be good. So um, that's how we came up with the workout. Like I said, there's been a couple different variations, but we're really excited about this one. Now, Something that I should note, the devil press do not have to be unbroken. Oh, cool. You can do a couple, shake it out for a minute, do a couple more. Only the thrusters need to be unbroken. Okay, okay. And I mean, little Jackson over here, not little, yeah. huge Jackson, super strong Jackson. He's Jackson in the house. Third round. I, he's crushing it. Also, um, Jax was 
Debating on whether he wanted to use 15 or 20 pounds. What does he got over there? He's, he went with the 20s. He has oh the 15s gosh. laid out in case he ends up needing them. Um, but he, he really likes the dumbbells. He likes the sandbag. Those are his go-to pieces of equipment. But today, he feels more familiar with the dumbbells, so I think he made the smart choice. Yes. Went with the dumbbells and yeah. he has the backup dumbbells. I would say, especially, like, even now, if he struggles, He's already only one round away from the goal. Yeah. So I would tell him not to grab the 15s. Just rest a little bit longer if you need to and stick yeah. with those 20s. And this is this is a really quick workout. It's going to speed by really fast. Not necessarily as you're in it. It might not feel that way. But how would you approach this workout in terms of pacing and things like that? Um, you know, it's 10 minutes. So yes, there's pacing, but not very much. You know, yeah. I like what Jackson's been doing, actually, and Julian, too is the rest comes before the thrusters. Okay. So put the thruster down and at least start on your devil press, get a couple of them done. Okay. And you're gonna want your big long rest chunks to come right before the thrusters. Right, right. So, so if you would recommend taking a beat before you start your thrusters. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, noted. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this one, it's gonna be really cool in six months when we retest it because you'll learn so much when you do it the first time. 100%. About like, okay, I could have done this, I should have done this. Uh, maybe next time if I take a little bit longer before the thrusters, I won't end up breaking them and have to start over. <laughs> 100%. So we, we're seeing right here, we're seeing pr the barbell version and the dumbbell version. Um, what is a choice for shift? Shift is a 10 minute AMRAP of three unbroken goblet squats. Oh, it's eight unbroken goblet squats, sorry, and three burpees. Right on, okay. Yes. So it's also a 10 minute AMRAP. Yeah, and of course, you guys, if you're doing shift, you could also just do air squats if you need to, but we do want to encourage you to grab something, even if it's right just on. a light weight or one single dumbbell or, I don't know, you know, a backpack or something. Try to weight it a little bit, and those have to be unbroken as well, so you can't put the weight down. Oh, Jackson's fighting yeah, for it, Jackson. but he's ahead, you know? He's yeah. winning, so that's all that matters. 100%. Just kidding, scores don't matter. Scores don't matter, you just can't miss. So if you're joining us for the vault for the very first time this year, yeah. we've got 25 workouts, one workout a week for 25 weeks, that's six months. And um, the goal is just to do, even if nothing else happens that week, Yes. you stick with it and you do the vault workout every week. If you have to hit it in a more than nothing style, yes. you're sick, something's gone on in your life, Yes. This is the one workout we're hoping you can put in some sort of effort towards. Yes, your score absolutely doesn't matter. Um, you just have to do at least that one workout every week. And then six months from now, we'll start all over again. You get a retest. I love it. And either do a different version or try to beat your score or, or whatever to get a full year of consistency. I love it. I like, to, I like to change it up often on the second time around, but every once in a while, I just like to see if I can beat yeah, myself from six couple. months you ago. You gotta pick yeah. a couple. I encourage people to pick the ones that they hated the most. Maybe this one will be one. So Julian's still looking Good super job, strong. Jackson. Jackson was a little shaky on the on the thrusters on yeah. the last one, so he might need want to take a second. Yeah. Did a great job of pushing through and powering through, taking a bit more of a rest on this one before starting, which is a smart move for sure. What a lot of people will think going into this one is it's gonna be their legs. Yeah. For a lot of us though, it's actually gonna be the press. Yeah. Because we've got the press in both movements. Now you can pause. Um, oh yeah. I would say, I mean, we're not gonna hold any super high standards. No. I would say you've gotta keep the weight at your shoulders and if you're doing the barbell, the sandbag, no fair if you put it on your back. No resting it on your back. Oh yeah, Roger but if you that. need to pause for a second and compose yourself so that you don't put the weight down. Here's what I love too, like I love seeing what Jackson's doing right now. Another yeah. reason that we love, we do unbroken workouts from time to time. It's okay, it's okay. We do unbroken workouts from time to time. Um, it forces people to do bigger sets mm -hmm. than they would need to, or than yeah. they would normally do. I think when we've been doing um, fitness like this for so long, we learn how to pace. We 100%. learn how to like get in the goal to stay yes. moderately comfortable. Yes. And this the unbroken forces people to do bigger sets than they would normally do. I love what Jackson just did. He's like, this is not, he wants to keep moving, right? Yes. So he's like, forget it. He didn't rest very long. No. But I, I love Jackson decided that it was it was a good idea to go to the 15 pound instead of the 20 pound, which personally I think was the right choice. Yeah, it depends. It depends, like, do I, do I want to like 
keep moving or do I want to maybe, I think if he would have rested like a maybe 90 seconds, he could have mm -hmm. tried again with the 20s. There's no like right or wrong. Though. Yeah. It's, and maybe next time in six months, he'll be like, no, I'm going to get that score but not have to change the weight. 100%. Julian's taking a little bit of his rest during the devil press. Smart. Which is smart. I think they both have finished five rounds of the 15 unbroken. They have, yeah. Julian will definitely go for one more. And we are with 90 seconds left in this entire now workout. Now let's talk about what happens at the end. If you're like, well, I don't have time to do 15 more thrusters, do I just stop? Absolutely not. So if you... <clears throat> don't have time to do a full round again, or you're on the devil press when the clock runs out, you count any additional reps. Yeah. So your score is gonna be how many rounds of unbroken thrusters that you got, mm -hmm. and then any additional reps at the end of either devil press, or maybe you get a, the devil press and a few more thrusters. We'll count. Okay, so you could get like five rounds and 14 thrusters, and you would count it as five plus 14. Um, plus the five devil press. There we go. in between. Oh, yes. okay, right on. You don't, however, get to count the reps of sets that you broke. Right. So that set that Jackson Ooh. didn't get all the way to 15, he doesn't yeah. need to add that to his score. He should definitely put it in the comments yeah. of his log, though. 100%. So we are creeping up on the 10 minute mark here. He's gonna go for it. He's gonna go for it. Heck yeah. Let's go, Jackson. Got this, Jackson. So Julian's got 30 seconds left. He's gonna get as many devil press as he can. I think that was six rounds for him. It was, it was. I'm loving this. Hold on, Jackson, you got it. Jackson Focus. out here, 13 years old, I can't in eighth not grade, him right now. crushing this. I can't, it's like seeing like Knox in, you know, eight the years. The future of Knox, yes. yes. Hold on, Jackson. We've got 10 seconds left in this workout. He's close. And pushing it all the way to the end. Go, go, go. End time. I don't know if he nice got it or not. Nice job. Jackson, did you get it? Oh, oh you yes. got it. Count it. Count, Count it. it. <laughs> Count it. All right, so I think they both got six. That was six rounds across the board. Julian went with extra challenge. Yes, 95 pounds and seven devil press. Jackson made that audible in the middle, which I think was great. Was great. Which started with, with started with 20 pounds, went so to the 15, awesome. which I think was smart for him. Quick, quick workout, but man, is it gonna get to you? Let's hit uh, Julian for some tips on this one. All right, wow, so shoulders, oh my goodness. Uh, I think the goal, like I said, is very um, good to try to follow, to choose a weight that allows you to get, you know, five plus rounds with a barbell or six plus with the other versions. Just know your shoulders are gonna get taxed. I mean, you know, you have to mentally be ready to pick up the, the object you're using to get, those, to get those 15 reps. You might start off really hot and get ahead of yourself. Take a breather in the first two, three rounds before you pick up that weight. Trust me. I purposely went slower on the devil press. That's where you're gonna catch your breath after spiking the heart rate, after doing 15 reps and broken. <clears throat> You gotta really listen to your body and your shoulders on this one. Really try your best to jump those, you know, jump the hip, pop the hips, get a strong jump because you need to try to preserve the shoulders as much as possible for this workout. Um, what a great way to start off the first workout of the 2023 vault. Mm -hmm. So that's it, those are my tips for this one. What did Jackson feel? Oh. I originally chose a weight that I was confident I could do all 15 thrusters with, but I was just not counting enough for the unbroken part. And so I went into it thinking I was fine. Then towards, towards the end of the workout, it's like middle to end, my shoulders were just failing. So I was like counting for the unbroken part. So I had to scale down a bit and just keep that, keep that unbroken part in mind. Cause you may think you can do a weight, but you have to do unbroken. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, I liked it. It's a good blood mover. Mm. Final tip, don't hold your breath on thrusters. Don't do that. Breathe as much as you can. Relax, because if not, you're gonna have a really, really hard time getting your heart rate down, going to that next round, okay? So, get after it.
All right, everybody, it is week one of the 2023 Street Parking Vault, and your week one Program A workout is Deshret. Deshret is a 10-minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes of 15 unbroken thrusters. In between each successful round, so every time you complete 15 unbroken thrusters, you need to complete five devil press before you can go again. Your score for this workout is the total number of completed rounds of unbroken thrusters, plus as the time runs out, any additional devil press or thruster reps you may get at the end of the clock. So for example, none of the devil press during the middle of the workout in between those sets will count, but if you're running close to time running out and you have time to do some devil press and maybe a few more thrusters, you definitely want to do those because they will be added to your score. Also, if you end up breaking a set of thrusters, if you get to rep number 12 and you fail a rep, those reps and that set doesn't count, you have to start over. The goal for this workout is to complete four to six rounds of unbroken thrusters. Deshret is tricky because there's a, some strategy involved with this. It's only 10 minutes and that time can go by really, really fast if you overpace it. But if you come out too hot, if you pick up the weight too quickly before you're ready, you could end up failing a set and having none of those reps count toward your score. So it's like we're out in the desert and we've got to conserve our resources here. Be smart. I watched this workout, I've seen this workout. What I will say is go a little bit harder than you think that you should because the 10 minutes does go by pretty quickly. Use your legs as much as possible on the thruster and on the double press so that that pressing portion of the movement doesn't give out because that seems to be where we're gonna see the biggest challenge. Check yourself mentally before you pick up the weight each time. Commit to doing those 15 reps get through it and then go right into the devil press. Take your breaks before the next round of thrusters. Have fun and good luck. As always, to see detailed demos of the movements in today's workout or to see the customization options, to make this workout work for you, head to my.streetparking.com. It's week one of the 2023 Street Parking Vault and we've got Deshret. Shift Desret is a 10 minute AMRAP, that's as many rounds and reps as possible in 10 minutes, of eight unbroken goblet squat and three burpees. Your score for this workout is the total number of completed rounds plus any additional reps into the next round when the clock hits 10 minutes. The goal is eight to 12 rounds. All right, this workout is gonna go by fast, it's only 10 minutes. Your main goal for this is to do those sets of goblet squats unbroken. Now for the shift version, if you end up breaking at some point, not to worry, you can pick right up where you left off, but have the goal going into it to do all of those sets unbroken if possible. Even if you have to go to an air squat and you just never stop moving through those eight reps. For the burpees, find a burpee that allows you to do three burpees in no more than like 20 seconds or so. Continue to move so that you can hit the goal of eight to 12 rounds. As always, to see detailed demos of the movements in today's workout or to see the customization options, to make this workout work for you, head to my.streetparking.com.